Hi, I'm Dave Epstein, and welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. Today, we're going to talk about bromeliads. Bromeliads are a great tropical plant. They tend to grow in the southern areas of the Americas, and they also have wonderful color to them. Now, you may look at this and say, wow, look at the flowers. These are not the flowers. Just like a poinsettia, where you get a red one or a pink one or a white one, those are the bracts. The flower is a tiny little thing that comes out of the bracts, but right now these are not in flower, so we're looking at the different colors of the bracts. Now, what happens with a bromeliad, it will only flower once in its lifetime, and once the flower comes out of the top, then this part of the bromeliad will die. But what's interesting about it is, as it's beginning to get ready to flower, it will also start putting something called offsets or pups. And the little pups are a plant in its own, and you can, very carefully with a sterile knife, remove these and plant them in another pot. So that's one of the ways in which uh, a grower might propagate these particular plants. Watering is really the key thing with a bromeliad. So they do not want to be overwatered. They like relative humidity about 60%. They have a little reservoir in the middle. It's kind of this neat little thing where in the middle of the plant, that's where it holds the water. You don't want to water these out of a metal container. And the reason for that is they're very susceptible to metals. So uh, water them out of a plastic container as you do water them. So you want to fill the reservoir or keep the reservoir filled with water. And that's a way in which the plant does drink. There's also a medium that the plant is grown in. And in this case, this medium is a bunch of bark and probably a little bit of peat. You want to let that dry out in between waterings. Bromeliads are very susceptible to root rot. If you overwater them, what you'll find is that the plant will be very loose. And if you were to pull it out, you'd see there's no roots. The roots have literally rotted and eventually the plant would die. So it's very important to let the first two inches of soil medium dry out before you water them. You can put bromeliads outside in the summer. You just have to remember to bring them inside during the colder months. One neat little trick is you could put the plant right in the ground but leave it in the pot. That would make a really cool statement in a garden. I mean, imagine these three plants all nice and tightly put together in perhaps a little bit of a shade garden. Not deep shade, but it, they do tend to do pretty well in dappled light. That would be beautiful and the plants would thrive all summer long. You just want to get them inside before it gets too cold, say under 40 degrees. If you're growing them inside, a couple of little hints. One is you can keep them in a humidity tray. That would be a tray underneath here with some pebbles so it's not absorbing water and there's water underneath the pebbles. You never want the pot sitting in water so we want to raise it up with some stones. That humidity tray will allow moisture to evaporate around the plant and keep the humidity levels a bit higher. In terms of fertilization, very sparingly. Let's say once a year, half to quarter strength. Never put the fertilizer in that little reservoir we talked about. Always put it around the soil. And more fertilizer is not better for the plants. They'll tend to get leggy. They'll also tend to lose some of their vibrant color. So there are plants that actually like to be under a little bit of stress. They don't want as much nutrients, and this is one of them. The last point is to keep good air circulation around the plant. You don't want the plants too tightly spaced together. That can promote disease and also some of that root rot we were talking about. So give the plants adequate room to breathe and they will grow beautifully and for a long period of time in your house. I've had one of mine for over nine years. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.